Let's check this one right here. Yeah, I want to see how hot this one is after he turned it. 130? Yeah, 130. That's good. This machine um, is turning the compost windrows, and what it does is incorporate air into the pile. Uh, the air creates a lot of heat, so it uh, helps break down the material and kills weed seeds and any other harmful bacteria in there. So uh, I like to monitor the temperatures. That's good, and it should, it should increase. It can get up to 150 or 60 degrees. These wind rows, um, part of this manure came from the corrals. We scraped and cleaned the corrals um, after the winter. Part of this material is, comes from the bedding that we use in the winter time. It's all from the dairy here. The Magnuson family applied in our very first round um, of our program, the Alternative Manure Management Program. And what makes them special is that they actually implemented a variety of, of practices that, would, that uh, folks are eligible to apply for. So instead of choosing just one practice, they did multiple. So behind me, you'll see that uh, they put in a solid separator to separate the solids. And they also use those solids for bedding for their cows. And they even land apply it to their pasture so that they can increase the time that the cows are out in pasture from uh, previously six months to now eight months out of the year because that compost adds beneficial nutrients to the pasture and the pasture grows longer. The dairy has 500 acres and there's 200 acres around um, the dairy facility where the milk cows are, are pastured and where the dairy facility is. So we're milking 620 cows right now and we have about 700 heifers. So all the replacements we raise here too. We got notified about the, uh, the grant um, 2017. Um, went to several of meetings sponsored by um, CDFA. Really those kind of inspired us to put a multi-project aspect to it. So this is our pack barn. Uh, we built this with uh, the money from our AMP grant through CDFA, and it's designed to house animals during the winter time. This part of the project was designed to remove more of the solids from an existing um, settling basin or solids trench where uh, the solids would float to the top. Um, it's pretty effective about getting most of the solids, but I was getting some solids that were going through and into the lagoon, creating problems. So we're pumping um, the water as it leaves the settling basin, um, running it over these separators and removing more of the solids. Um, these solids and I can windrow and make compost out of them and get them out of the lagoon. Prior to having this slab here, um, it was on packed dirt, and every time um, the loader guys were operating in here to um, haul the manure out, um, they kept digging deeper holes, and they ended up with a lot of holes in the ground, and they'd fill up with water. Um, so this is really a big improvement. The great thing about the CDFA admission, this grant, um, was that milk prices have been terrible. <laughs> and, you know, all these projects needed to be done, but um, nobody had the money to do them. One of the things that I try to do is create a sustainable operation. And, yeah, this grant is going to help us continue to be um, sustainable. Uh, returning um, compost and manure back into the soil for fertility. That's one of the main goals, is really to try to keep it sustainable and pass it on to the next generations.